Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look in the tropics as Tropical Depression Eta heads for the US. So take a look here, Tropical Storm Eta is starting to get its strength back together after going into Nicaragua and Central America. It's currently has sustained winds of 35 miles per hour, it has increased from 30 and is moving north northeast to Cuba at 6 miles per hour. It's expected to strengthen back up to a tropical storm, hit Cuba, and possibly go over to the Florida possibly impacting Miami and the Florida Keys. If you take a look at the spaghetti models from the GFS ensembles, it shows it going through Cuba as an, a strong tropical storm and then strengthening even further and going over the Florida Keys and then going through Florida and out to sea finally. If we take a look at the GEPS ensembles, it shows the same thing but a little bit more west. not. Just barely making landfall in the Florida Keys and then going up to the Panhandle almost and then going through Georgia. As we take a look at the GFS here, as I get to the surface map, this is the Southeast US. You see Tropical Storm Eta go over Cuba, go through the Bahamas, and eventually make landfall by the Miami area, dropping a couple inches and then possibly just meandering around and eventually dissipates. At this time, this is a total cumulative precip shown by the GFS, and it shows a couple good inches over Florida and Cuba, but by the Bahamas, it shows up to 10 inches. At this time, I'm going to highlight where the most heaviest rain is going to be. At least in this model run, it shows the most heaviest rain being by the Bahamas. But, uh, but if we go back to a previous run, it shows... So it's almost the same thing. Two runs ago, it showed it over the Florida and the Florida Keys, but the past two runs have been shifting more southeast. If we take a look at the CMC model, also known as the Canadian model, it shows the same thing almost over the Bahamas, but it gets into Florida. The past two runs have been showing that as well. The Icon model, oh, I gotta go back to the older one. The ICOM model shows almost the same thing as the CMC. And then the European I can't get. I will pull it up for you guys in a little bit. But if we take a look at the NAM model, which is one of the most best models that we could use right now, shows almost the same thing. It shows it coming over Cuba, sitting over the Bahamas, and then coming into Florida. With a lot of rain, it looks like. Oh, sorry, wrong one. If we go into the f closer look into the southeast we could see that this man model shows 10 inches over Florida not over the Bahamas like the other models were showing if you take a look at the NOAA what it shows it shows what the name is almost showing six inches or more in this orange area which is mostly in Miami-Dade and south of Miami and then anywhere in this yellow color, you'll see anywhere from 4 to possibly even up to 6 inches. If we take a look at the European model here, it let's see what it shows. It shows it coming over Cuba, and then going into the Florida Keys, and going a little more north than what the G uh, GFS was showing. It shows it spinning out, and then eventually going up to the Panhandle as a weak tropical storm, maybe even a tropical depression. If we take a look at the total accumulated precip, it shows a good hefty amount. From anywhere the 6 to even 15 inches of rain, but that's over the water. But sadly for Cuba's sake, it looks like that 10 inch, even up to 16 inches mark will get over there. Florida, if you live anywhere in this Florida, the pa anywhere in Florida, if you live anywhere in here and including Cuba, you need to look out for this storm. Massive flooding, even mudslides. This is not a good storm for you. I hope everybody has a good day and stay 